Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I have a unboxing, a double unboxing that I want to do with y'all. Um, it's a double Brahmin unboxing. I know people love Brahmins and I do too. And uh, normally I don't do things this way. I ordered both purses because I didn't know which one I really wanted. Uh, I don't think I want to keep both of them. I'm looking for a spring pink bag that is a Brahmin. Now I have a pink Valentino and it's a hot pink with gold studs. Comment below if you want me to show that or all my pink bags, whatever you want to see. But I was just looking for, I love Brahmin for one thing, and I was just looking for a really pretty spring bag. So I brought, brought into here a couple of shirts that I think two will go with one of the purses and two will go with the other, but I don't know. The thing about pink is it's weird sometimes. It's just hard to know, do I want to keep this? And I'm enjoying my coffee. Okay, so let's go with the first one. Let's get right to it. This one I got first. Oh, by the way, let me show you how they're packaging things now. They don't give them to you in the, the Brahmin box or that's what it looks like. It's just a big plastic bag and this is legit. This is real Brahmin, and it came from Brahmin. That's just how they're doing it now. I guess they're saving packaging of um, extra boxes. So here it is. This was $415. No, it was not. Um, that's what it says on here, but it was $300 and something. I got um, a discount because I'm... Um, I forgot why. I have to go back and look, but I know I didn't pay 400 for this. Did I? Anyway, this is called the, I need to go back and look, I hope. I thought, oh, you know what it is? This is, this is the Caroline. It is $415. Um, I'm thinking of the Duxbury, and that's $345. Okay, so this also is a special one. It is a Caroline, it's a style, Begonia Pink Minx genuine leather, four hundred fifteen dollars. I want to be upfront with y'all and always tell y'all what things really cost because it's kind of expensive. And the first thing that I noticed was this metallicness. Like, does it go with the top I have on now? I mean, this is a a good example. Hold on, my chair is always getting stuck. Hold on, this the little arm gets stuck underneath this lava edge. All right, I want to back it up. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put a couple of the shirts I felt like might go with this. So there's one. It's got a little pink and it. it's more of like peachy pink though, right? But then this mink, which I think is the color that makes it dark in the crevices. Here's another one that I thought. This is kind of like a... Uh, and, and even what I'm wearing now. I feel like pink doesn't have to be with pink. Matter of fact, I would not wear pink with pink. And here's why. The pink itself, if you do that, I don't know, this has got pink in it. What do you think about this? How does that look together, y'all? Purposely changing, changing angles so you can kind of see. But, um, so there's the, the shirt I want to show you with this color. Pink's just kind of odd, y'all. I feel like if I wore that with that, it would look terrible. I feel like if I wore that with that, it'd be way too dressy for this. It's almost like this is more casual now looking, and this is a nice shirt. But this is the metallic, I think. And this, it may. But again, I think it's the metallic. Um, that I just was shocked. I didn't realize it was going to be that metallic looking. And so I'm not sure I like this, y'all. What do y'all think? Um, I think this happened with another one I got. And it was the Priscilla, I think. And I went back and got it in, I think it's called Moonlight with black and like a champagne color. Because the one that I got was like a purple, almost like a cordovan, cordovan or um, like burgundy. But it had a metallic to it. And I was like, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, look at my pink fingernail polish. I'm just, I don't know. I love the Caroline. I've got this in the pecan. And I think that's the only one I've got uh, the Caroline in. I'm trying to think. It's a beautiful bag. Here's the thing that's hard for me 
not to not wanting to send this back. The Caroline has, you know, like almost every one of the styles has the place for your cell phone on the back. It's got rolled handles. I'll let you see that. I'm thinking I'm gonna send this back so I don't want to take any tags off. Rolled handles. Um, you know, it has the charm. It's the Melbourne, which is the um, you know, the alligator imprint. And then they rub over it like a color, which is, I guess, the minx color, the brownish color that they put over it. But it, it just, it's the metallic finish that they added. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm sold on that. That's what I'm not liking. Now, it's a pretty zipper color. Let me show you that. It's like a peachy zipper color, peachy pink. But this is real metallic pink, but it's okay. It goes. The metallic is like a silvery metallic but it goes with the gold I mean it's like flashing with the gold inside it's got the um, shoulder strap the wider shoulder strap and it's got the zipper pocket on one side usually it has a jewelry pocket yeah there's a jewelry pocket and a, um, a jewelry zipper pocket and then this is the regular full pocket and then a place for your pen or lipstick y'all know my lipstick's the Chanel so it's a long stick so I'm just thinking, I don't know if I want to keep this. Then, I got this other one, and I thought, well, same. I'm not sure which one of these I want, so I'm going to send one of them back. I may send both of them back. And I love Brahmin, and I love pink. But I don't know. I can kind of see through here, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, where's Mia? Y'all, my little arthritis fingers are just not happy anymore. I almost can't do nothing with them. I say that. I'm not kidding. They're so, like, naughty right now that I just can't do stuff. Okay, so here's this one again. It's in this, this plastic inside the regular brown box. It, I mean, you know, shipping box. Wow. Okay. I don't know. I kind of like that. It's very metallic purple in the background of the pink. Now, I'm thinking something like this might do well with this. Yeah, I think that would be great. Or would it? I don't know. Yeah, I think that'd go. And certainly if you wore a white shirt with a black skirt or black pants, this would go. Royal blue, this would go. Purple, the right shade of purple, this would go. Um, this is the Elaine, and this color is called Potion, and it's again in the Melbourne leather. Melbourne just means it's got this alligator imprint on it, okay? Oh, and this one was $345. So, of all of them, the, I mean, the ones that I'm looking at, the Duxbury, the Caroline, and this, um, Elaine, um, but Caroline's the most expensive. It's kind of large. I'm thinking I like this. Would you carry it with what I have on? Or is it just too loud for that? I feel like this will need cool tone colors. This is warm. This cream and this kind of olive-y, uh, taupey color. I don't think this would go. I think this would be great with uh, anything from a, a black dress um, to a white dress or um, a really... Um, hot orange or blue or purple with white jeans with plain jeans and a white shirt I think this would be cool I don't know especially in this lighting you can really see the metallic application of this and so I'm kind of liking this better of the two so out of these two which one would you keep and I'm doing it at different angles so you can see the sheens or would you keep neither? Again, this has got the same pocket in the back for your phone. It's got the rolled um, handles, as you can see. It has the shoulder strap. I hate when they do this, y'all. What did this do with that little pair of scissors? There they are. Because I have to be able to at least open it, right? But I still don't know if I'm going to keep it. So we'll keep that like that. We'll take this one piece out. I kind of like the style, but it's, I don't know. There was another one, it was a different, um, 
leather finish. I think it was called the Pink Ombre. What was it called? Oh, I can't remember now. But they sold out of it. And it was in the Priscilla style. And I thought, well, I like the potion. I mean, these are kind of bags you get used to. Um, this has got almost like a deep burgundy-ish hot pink zipper color. And then the gold hardware. And then the same, the large zipper pocket on one side. On the other, the jewelry zipper pocket in two pockets. What does it have? Oh, there it is. Okay, so here it is. It's, it's a thinner strap, not a wide strap. Very metallic. Do you see this? Very metallic. Like almost um, UV, um, UV. I'm just not sure. I don't know. How, how does this hold on your arm like this? Or it would be hang about right here. So it's an okay size for me. I do have one other Elaine and it's got, it looks like it's the ocean. If y'all want to see that. I mean, it looks like a beach, sandy beach with the ocean come up and white frothy. Uh, just because the coloration ombre on it, it's really cool. And I almost never wear it because it's a summer only bag. I'm wondering, would this be, I mean, this could be summer and spring, certainly spring, but I'm wondering what I would wear it with. Would I wear it with that? Would y'all wear it with that shirt? Mm -hmm. Y'all give me your comments below. Would you keep it? And would you keep this? One or the other or neither? Give me your comments. Thanks for your help. Talk to you again soon. Bye.